To assist Fusion Fire in programming your wireless system, you will have to fill out uh, this spreadsheet. The first thing you'll have to do is to confirm the zone descriptions. So for example, ground floor for zone one, first floor for zone two, and so on. Next, move on to the loop details. Obviously, if you have more than one loop, you can just copy this sheet into a new one and like this. And this would be loop number two. Now, back to loop number one. The next thing we need to do is to confirm our uh, what devices we want um, for each translator. So this is translator number one, translator number two, number three, and so on. Please remember that each translator can host a maximum of 32 devices, and out of these 32 available addresses, only 16 can be sounders. Now, your translator will always be on zone 1800, as per the note on the side, whereas all your sounders will be on zone 1801. Now, let's start to add some devices. Office. Now, under zone type, you will need to select one of these descriptors. So, your smoke detector, thermal detector, multi criteria detector, sounder base, wall sounder, manual call point, input or output device. So, this is our first device. On zone number one, which is ground floor, we have a smoke detector that is located in the office. Then we can have a couple of devices in zone number two. Okay, so obviously our sound base needs to be on zone. 1801. Please use the comment section, it's pretty useful if you need to add any specific um, instructions. So for example, we can have this sounder base on local activation on from smoke to minute delay for general alarm and multi we can have we can probably copy this as well. Now we can obviously keep adding devices following the same procedure and um, just make sure that you have each device mapped uh, to the correct translator. It's also possible that you have some devices not reporting directly to a translator, but through a, an expander. So what you'll have to do is to make a note of it. So for example, this device can be on expander one, and it will be its first device. This will be on expander number one, and this will be expand the device number two. So all remember that the second uh, number here, it's what's called the child device um, address, meaning it's the second device to this particular um, expander. So expander one, device number two. So don't be, don't copy this description. Um, if you have a second expander, you follow the same procedure. Expander number two, device number one. And um, once you can confirm all this, um, uh, all this information, Fusion Fire will be able to configure the system for you. Thank you.